Yards, 10 plays, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. They've got the lead. He's a big reason why, looking sharp so far. And as we travel around the league, we see quarterbacks get it done in a variety of ways. But today's NFL does tell us one thing. If that guy doesn't play well, <laughs> their team's not going to win. And right now, he's got his team in the lead. And now they'll look to extend that lead. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He'll get that complete to Albert O. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Tressway now as he'll kick it away for the second time. It's a 45 yard punt, just a one yard return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He's had a good chunk of carries. Problem is for very little success. I don't want to put it all on his shoulders, but that's a big reason they're losing right now. Have to be very careful that he doesn't start pointing fingers. Offensive line obviously trying. The defense is doing a nice job against him today. When it's all said and done, it's all about the guy in the mirror. He has to get it done better going forward. See if he can look and do some soul searching now. Seven yards to pick up there. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. The Falcons on third down. Just one for five to this point. Here it's third and two. They'll try and run for the first with Dillon. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. He'll give up six yards there on the loss, and it'll bring up fourth down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Here's Jamie Gillendale as he's on to punt for Atlanta. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 45 yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. A time again to see Terry McLaurin in the Washington offense. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. Is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Now a play fake here on first down. Right side, that's complete to Gronkowski. Three yards the game there, second down. 
I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You talk about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Now back to throw. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll lead here to a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. He'll look to throw. Over the middle complete, that's Brown. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not to, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. He'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Rob Gronkowski there to make the grab. And Washington able to stretch that lead out even further. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Austin McGinnis out for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded just outside the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Chase Young, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. This offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Looking to throw, Jones. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Operating from the gun. 
Jones. He finds his man complete. It's Kramer. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? Here's Jamie Gillen now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And taken right at the 35. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Play him well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love... And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle back to throw got a man it's Brown Two minutes to go on Divisional Round Weekend. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful Divisional Round Weekend. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses. It's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Tressway now, as he's on to punt for Washington. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And yeah, this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Now we'll again see Calvin Ridley in the Falcon offense. He's up near 100 yards now here in the second quarter, but his team's down. Through no fault of his own. I mean, <laughs> what a nice game he's having so far. They've got to keep finding ways to get him the football. Don't get away from that. Figure out where things are going wrong with the rest of the team. He'll be hoping to hit that 100-yard mark on this drive. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, and he gets this one to Ridley complete. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Jones on first and 10. He finds his man complete. It's Kramer. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. From the 35 on second down, Jones. And quickly they get to the line. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that'll be complete to Dillon. And he's brought down. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Throwing Jones. 
And he finds Parker here, complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. And Boswell's kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Division round matchup as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. But first, let's take a look back to Saturday's NFC Divisional Round game. And it's the San Francisco 49ers who are moving on to the next round as they defeat the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, in our game, we're set up for a terrific second half. So to find out who will advance to the NFC title game, let's send it back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. This taken in at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work to run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But if they run it more effectively, it may get even bigger plays in the passing game. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He'll check that down to Gibson out of the backfield. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second and 13. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. They'll set up a throw. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Here's Tressway now, as he's on to punt for Washington. It'll be a 41-yard punt, give him five on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, that they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together. With Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Duran Payne. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. But when you see a quarterback retreating away from the line of scrimmage toward the other goal line like that, usually doesn't end well. 
You're exactly right about that. Normally, if they're moving from side to side, they've got a chance maybe to get back upfield. He was trying to shake defenders and extend the play, but it doesn't work out very well for them at all. You need those extra yards on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Now you're digging a hole for your offense. Meanwhile, Jones throw into the hands of Pitts here. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Now Jones. Right back to Pitts again. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively, and they stop it well short. Here's Jamie Gillen now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. Washington ready to try again on offense. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Going for the deep ball. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. And mark him down all the way inside the Atlanta 20. A huge play there for Washington. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. They run the toss now with Gibson. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 43 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive they went three and out. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll look to throw. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? And give them five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. A handoff for Gibson. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. They'll look to throw here. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Disastrous outcome there on third and goal. They lose nine yards on the sack. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Now on comes the Washington field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 34. And his kick is indeed good. And that will extend their lead even further. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. 
Now comes Calvin Ridley and the offense for their next drive. He's been a load for them to handle defensively. I know that much. But look at him. He's got seven catches on the game, and he's starting to shred them a little bit because not only is he catching them, he's picking up good yardage, keeping the chains moving, ball control, you name it. This big guy, what did you say? He's been a load for them to handle? That's right. He's Agreed. A, a seven catches, as you said, over 100 yards. Now a dump off here complete. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Back to throw. Jones. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Now a handoff to Dillon, and they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They run once more with Dillon, and they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Here's Jamie Gillen now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Here's a give to Gibson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Gibson again. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. A carry for Gibson, and they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. Here's Tressway now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. Atlanta regains possession of the football. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. From the 47, it's second and five. Now a run with Dillon. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. On first down. 
Kramer. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Jones now from the gun on third down. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Dillon now on first and ten. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Back to throw. Jones. He finds his man complete. That's Parks. That catch good for five. It's third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Looking to throw. Jones. And it's caught. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Beautiful throw right there on third down. And it looked like this was going to be six points. But a nice touchdown saving tackle at the end of this. Even still, this offense is knocking on the door now with a first and goal of the one. They'll try and run it in with Burton. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Dillon, and he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. A.J. Dillon, fine work there on the touchdown run. And the Falcons get a bit closer. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Extra point now by Boswell. And that'll cut the lead back now to 21. A 10-play drive that time. And it was A.J. Dillon who capped it off with a touchdown run. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and ten. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. 
Boy, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive, you're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. And the entire time, you were probably thinking the same thing I was. Either get rid of the ball safely, of course, or go down. The yardage he gave up on that play, that's going to be tough for them to make up. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. They'll set up to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. on the punt, give him just one yard on the return. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. The drive starts with a carry by Dillon. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Again, it's Dillon. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Oh, he's got his tight end pitch complete. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Now Jones on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Kramer. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Working with a second and four. They'll look to throw again. Throw left side to Higgins. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. A throw to Parker, complete on the slant. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Back to throw again. He finds his man complete. That's Kramer. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Three yards the game there, second down. From the gun, Jones. Fighting his safety valve here, that's complete. 
And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Daniel Jones, his second touchdown of the night. And the Falcons have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Extra point put through by Boswell, and the lead will be cut down to 14. So that one along the 11-play drive, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. And Washington going to come back out here to take over offensively. And now first downs are key. They want to keep that clock moving up by two scores as they try to cement their place in the conference championship round in one week's time. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Now it's second and nine. Looking to throw. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Put down by Bryce Hall. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Well, this D, particularly the secondary, has been picked apart at points here tonight. They finally, though, get to the quarterback in a pick. And we know this about him. He loves night games, loves the spotlight, loves being the center of attention. I will bet you that he ran off the field almost chuckling to himself. They finally got one. They finally got me. Jones throwing on first down. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's got this down to the 35. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Back to throw. Jones throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Here's Jones on first and ten. They go screen with Dillon. No gain on the screen there at second down. Operating from the gun, Jones. This is to Pitts on the quick slant. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 13-yard line. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he went for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's the big man Dillon with it. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They know that old expression, it's not my night. 
it hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Looking to throw. Jones. And that will be taken in by Ridley for a Falcon touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Falcons have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Boswell for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that drive in total eight plays. And the Falcons score to cap it off. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And this has been a tight game to this point. Of course, they usually are at this juncture of the playoffs. But with the lead and the football, the clock right now, their friend, as they try to book their spot in the conference championship next Sunday. On second down, here's Gibson again. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. They'll run with Gibson. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. 76 yards for him on the ground now on that, his 20th carry of the ball game. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. A gain of three, second down. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Man open left side is Brown. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. On play action, they'll throw. Wide open, Gronkowski. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 
These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. down they run with Howard and not much maybe a yard down to the 23 here's second and nine just a yard on that last run they're going to look to throw and a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement in this case he just stared the receiver down that allowed for excellent coverage able to knock that one away on third down, he'll drop to throw. He leaves this one for Howard. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, right around the 18-yard line. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. First down would have been nice, but now you get to kick the field goal, still go up two scores. They tried to get it, though, didn't they? Through the pass, got the completion just short of the first down. But you're exactly right. Run the field goal unit out there. Kick it. Put it through the post. Go up two scores. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And this could be the defining moment of their season, all hyperbole aside. You're trailing here in the fourth quarter, the divisional round, and they need to come up with something as they get this drive started. Jones throw here taken in by Parker. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw. Jones. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. There's a nice move. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Looking to throw. Jones. And over the middle, this is Parker. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Back to throw. Jones. Now swing pass for Dillon. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. From the gun, Jones. He'll check it down, complete to Dillon. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. 
Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. A nice look and play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. They go with Howard again. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. So all eyes on the Falcons down on the scoreboard and time a huge factor this crowd has stayed with them throughout but they need two late scores to advance in these playoffs as they've got a first down now, Charles all things considered I guess that's not a critical miss at this stage is it no but still everything helps when you're trying to finish off a ball game and you're right not critical in terms of the scoreboard and the team but the guy with the golden foot he knows he's only as good as his last kick. And the Washington pressure gets to him, and he will go down. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Jones, he finds his man complete. That's Parks. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what would be an important fourth down. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. First down now, but that clock rolling. He'll dump this down to Dillon, that's complete. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. To throw is Jones. He dumps this off to Dillon underneath. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. Now Jones. And this is caught. So it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Still a little time left on the clock however coming from where they were they knew this was going to be tough but they got the touchdown now they need the miracle the onside kick and a little extra yeah and you have to get the onside kick and not have the ball bounce around a lot and eat up time you want to be able to grab it possess it and get your offense out there for what you just termed a miracle last chance extra point now by boswell And the lead is down to a field goal now. So that drive goes eight plays. And the end result, an Atlanta touchdown. So looking at this situation, you should have time for the onside kick and then at least one play. And this will be recovered by Washington, and that should just about do it.
They go down to a knee, and with that, they're off to the NFC title game. And they have secured a spot in the conference championship, and now you can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. But when you get to the conference championship game and you know you're there, the Super Bowl does loom in the future. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.